All right, we're in for a treat. My uh, buddy Mark is gonna let me film over at his place and he's a pretty incredible artist, woodworker, and now a stone carver. <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out. So that was me trying to be cool with a smooth shot of coming in and I bit it. <laughs> So I just bit it out of your freaking hallway. I was trying to make this cool shot coming through the little thing there. And I... Oh well. Did you get some good footage out of it? I got falling footage. I, I thought fall. I heard something when I looked. And I was like, maybe I imagined that. I was like, maybe it's windy and that's my, my talk. <laughs> so this is your first go at a stone, huh? First go. And what'd you get into? 2018 Outdoor Downtown Sculpture Exhibition. Yeah, well I want to make this part here part of a lip from this angle. So I got outline of nothing. Gotta get rid of that flat. I don't like it. Ah, so now I gotta do something. But I don't want to do too much because it's already. Doesn't it freak you out that you can't put it back? <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's how. It, that's how it is. You know, all all famous sculptures have missing arms. I should work on the arm then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I wanted to do this. I did. I should. Get a different chisel, make faster progress. But that's how you do it. Pretty awesome, Mark. Really should have it on a table so it's not trying to fall over. But then, you know. What's its name? Mother and child and all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> this is all the jazz part. This is jazz. Uh, that's all the jazz. It looks uh, oh, like this Nautilus. Is, this is more jazz. Then this is more jazz. Then they're getting around to some mother and child. This is limestone. It looks like a fence post. It does. It does. It's porous. It's not. It's a soft. It's a good starter stone. How long have you had the burl? Since 1991, <laughs> it came from the parking in front of Warren McElwin Mortuary. <laughs> they cut down that tree that was laying across the road, and I saw it from campus. And I went down and I said, Can I have that? And they cut it off. And I planed it up just this year, and it still has the bark. That is the craziest. So my next little clip is Mark working with a piece of wood. It doesn't really end in a finished product, but it shows 
how he is uses a real individual way of looking at wood and way of putting wood together. It's it's fascinating to me. Thank you. That's where it goes. That's where it goes. Fine supply of material. Yeah. Firewood furniture. Osage orange. Fetch better. Better price. There, now we got four. Live edge. No. I just think that's gorgeous, dude. It's kind of like a corkscrew. Uh, pedal. Then you get, then you get like the, like that backrest action going on. <laughs> <laughs> Between yeah two legs coming down but see that'll split right there and you'll get two oh well toolless furniture making <laughs> toolless furniture making yeah watch this <laughs> 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 they never wobble. <laughs> See what'd be cool is you can make it. Split it and keep doing the same 
thing. That's your petals, you were thinking, huh? Yeah. Flower petals? Yeah. I mean, shit, if you had a hedge tree to make firewood, and every time you saw cool shapes like this, you're like, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, if you had, if you had eight of those. Yeah. Boom, uh. boom, boom. Off of like a walnut round. Uh-huh. Right here. You know, the center of the flower. 